Wouldn't it be nice to not have to deal with constant notifications, being added to random groups, or being tagged in literally the worst photos you've ever taken? We'd all love to unfriend and block Facebook from our lives. It may seem daunting at first, but trust me, it can be done. But it can be done. Now, if you're not so sure about the decision and need a bit more time to consider it. We're locked on, sir. Do you wish to deploy? You can always deactivate your account. It won't remove your data, and you can always just go back and reactivate it. Click on the down arrow in the upper right corner of Facebook and click on Settings, your Facebook information, deactivation and deletion. Then click on Deactivation. Enter your Facebook password and confirm deactivation. And then whoo, you're gone. At least for a couple of weeks until you realize you need it to remember your friend's birthdays and Facebook stalked that barista from around the corner. Not that I'm speaking from experience. This is just a temporary fix for someone who, at the very least, just needs a break from all the noise. The ultimate power move is to just delete your account. Erased from existence. But before you completely delete your account, you should probably back up your data. From friends to photos, there's certainly tons of information you might wanna keep. So to back up your data, go to settings, your Facebook information, download your information. You'll be asked to choose the data range, what types of data you wanna download, and the quality of that data. We suggest you keep it all on the highest quality. You never know when that pic of you at Burning Man will come in handy. Next step, deleting all of your Facebook data. If you want to pull off your best Ron Swanson impression, you're going to have to wipe all traces of your existence. The best way to do this is to first grow a mustache because you're not gonna get, huh? Oh, it's not a prerequisite? Sure, you got, stick to the script. So first, remove associations between third-party apps and Facebook. Two, turn off Facebook platform. Three, check how much of your data is held by third-party apps. And four, clear your Facebook history. Now it's also important to consider that removing your Facebook data also involves going into third-party apps that may be currently tied to your Facebook and creating non-Facebook logins. Some of those apps include Farmville, Pandora, Instagram, and Tinder. But you know what? Once you get through with all of that, it's time to delete your Facebook account. Who's the president? Deploy. That's a go. Go to settings, your Facebook information, and then delete your account and information. Facebook claims it may take up to 90 days for all of your information to get officially removed from its network. But remember, if you log back in for any reason, it will cancel the deletion of your account and you'll have to do it all over again. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. But that's it. You are no longer Facebook dependent. So go on, grab a drink or an ice cream or a gelato if you're fancy. Enjoy your new Facebook free life. You actually have time now to read a book or actually talk to someone face to face or call your mother. I know, mom, it's been a while. I've been on Facebook. You have? Why didn't you friend me?